Okay, so here we are in um, index.html. So guys, just one word of advice. In this video, we're going to be doing a lot of styling. So if you get lost as to, if you don't know which tag we're dealing with, just come back into this file and just have a look because you might miss one or two. I mean, I know I did whilst I was coding. So anyway, here we are in the CSS file for our carousel. So first we're going to style the carousel outer. So it's called carousel outer. And we're going to give it a width of 100%. So it takes the whole width of the page. And we're going to give it a position of relative because we want it to be the one that the child elements um, relate to when they're being moved around. And then next, the left transparent and the right transparent and the carousel outer will all be floated to the left. So left transparent right transparent and carousel outer sorry carousel inner all floated to the left and next the left transparent and the right transparent we're going to style those as well We're going to give them both a width of 20%. I'll show you in a moment why we did that. We're going to give them a position of absolute. So we'll put them wherever we want to in their container. Likewise, we'll give them an opacity of, let's say something like 0 0.4. Yeah, that's fine. And a background color of, black so they will have that like darkish effect okay so here we are so basically what we did is we just gave this an opacity of 0 0.4 and a background color of black so it looks like anything on going underneath it is underneath some sort of a, a transparent veil likewise over here as well so we gave these two a width of 20% so now what we're going to do next is we're going to give this a width of 80% so it takes up the whole of the container so now we're going to take the wrapper that will contain all the images and then give it a position of absolute as well and then what we're going to do is as you can see, each of these images have a width of 546. So basically what we want to do is to make sure that this wrapper over here is able to contain all of these images without dropping. So what we're going to do just temporarily, we are going to set that in JavaScript later. But for now, just to make sure that you get a feeling for how the carousel will look like, we're going to take 546 and then multiply that by four. So 546 times 4 is equal to 2,184. So the width of the wrapper will be, for now, 2,184 pixels. Okay. The reason we did that is so that it will be able to contain all four of those images. Okay, now that we're here in Firefox and then we ref refresh, now you can see the images are, have started to show up properly in their container. We'll go back into the CSS file and then float every image inside of the wrapper. So we're going to do wrapper carousel item. If you remember, each of the images that we created inside the HTML file over here have a class of carousel item. So hence, we're targeting it over here. So we float each of them to the left. So now, inside of the CSS, we're going to take the carousel inner and set its overflow to visible. And 
and then we go to the carousel outer and set its overflow to hidden. So now we come back to the browser here and then we refresh so we'll see that the carousel inner has collapsed and the reason for that is okay let's have a look at these photos over here these photos have a height of 970 pixels so we need to set the height of carousel inner to whatever these photos are as well because for some reason if we look at these slider around here carousel inner is being collapsed for some reason so let's go to our CSS and then set carousels in a height to whatever we have the photos height to here which is 970 pixels so over here in carousel inner we'll set its height to 970 pixels okay we'll fix this spelling mistake that we had here it should have been spelled as opacity instead of oxidity also, it seems like we needed to give the carousel items a width. So we'll give them a width of, let's say, um, 500 pixels. Now here we are in Firefox, we'll refresh and see what happens. Voila. Okay. So at least we have something working. So over here in the CSS, we're going to fix the left and the right transparent. Left transparent, we're going to give it a left value of 0 pixels so that it's at the left side of our container 0 pixels and for the right right transparent we're going to give that a right of 0 pixels so that it's at the right so now we're going to set the left and the right link to absolute position left link position absolute right link position absolute so now we come to Firefox and then we refresh we'll see a change so as you can see this ones have been made to be absolute so now they're both inside of their container and they're free flowing you can put them anywhere inside of this container so now we'll go and fix that we're going to move the right link to the right hand side here and the left link we're going to stick it over here so left for left link is zero pixels as for the the right for right link is zero pixels now here we are in Firefox with refresh. So now you can see they are push properly positioned. But uh oh, we do have a problem. The right link has been pushed to the right, but the left link is not showing up. So let's go to our Chrome developer tools and see what's happening. Okay, right is fine. As for left, um, it does seem like it's over on the proper area, but for some reason it's not showing up. So let's go and modify the z index and see if that will fix it